Hello boys and girls and parents and welcome back to our Chris Stingle Messy Church. I hope you've been making all the other crafts for our Messy Church. Now this one today is all about the Chris Stingle and in your bag you will find a candle, some cocktail sticks, some red ribbon and some silver foil. Now we've asked your grown-ups to provide the orange because if we'd given you the orange two weeks ago it would have been really mouldy by today, wouldn't it? And the sweets as well because they would have been stale. Right, when we make the Christingle we use the orange because it's round to represent the world. We use the cocktail sticks, 
So we can think of the four corners of the world, the four seasons of the world, and also north, south, east and west. And on the cocktail stick, we will be putting some fruit and some sweets or whatever you've got with you, because that will remind us of all the kindness God has shown us and the bountiful harvest that we have and that God always looks after us and we have enough food to eat. And the ribbon represents Jesus's blood, because as you know from the Easter story, Jesus died for us, didn't he? And he shed his blood for us. So we put the red ribbon on for, us, for to remind us of Jesus. And then the very last thing is the candle. Because as you know, this is a light. And what did Jesus say? He was the light of the world. That's right. So we're going to put that in the very middle of our orange for us to remember that Jesus is the light of the world. Now, before we make our Christingle, we are going to sing a song. The Christingle begins with an orange Telling us of the world God made By the fruits of the earth in the seasons We can see the love of God displayed Sing Christingle, sing Christingle Sing Christingle, it's the light of Christ Sing Christingle, sing Christingle Are you ready now to start making your Christingle? When you get your orange, ask your grown-up to flatten it a bit so it will sit on a saucer. Because if it wobbles over, you might set fire to the house. So make sure you flatten the bottom a little bit and you've put it on there like that. Now the next thing we're going to do is to stick the ribbon on it around the middle. And if you use some glue, I'm using a pin, it should stay on. There. Now the next thing we want to do is to make the cocktail sticks. And on this one I have put some sultanas, some nice ooh, sour sweets, some midget gems and some Haribo sweets as well. So I've done one, two and I'm going to make another one. Oh, I don't know what sweets you've got. I like the look of mine. They are really tasty, aren't they? I wonder if Becca would like to come and make one with me. What do you think? So how many have I got now? One, two, three, and one more because we said there were four corners to the world and four seasons. And what else did we say? Four... Can anyone remember? North, South, East and West. I think that was the other one, wasn't it? And now look, I'm putting my sweets on here. And I've got a nice little heart one to go on the very top. So there's my four cocktail sticks ready. 
Right, grown-ups, this is your part. Get a very sharp knife and don't make a big hole in it like some people tell you to do because the candle will wobble. Make a cross in the very top of the orange. Oh, look at all that juice running out. And then get your foil, wrap it around the bottom of the candle and then you can push it into the cross that you have just made so it will stay in there. And the foil will catch all the candle wax as it drips down. Right, boys and girls, have you got that far on, your, on yours? And the next thing, the last thing, are the four cocktail sticks that you made. So there's one, two, three, four. Oh, yum. Do you know when Becca was a little girl, she couldn't wait to go to church for her Christingle because before the service had finished, she would have eaten all the sweets and the sultanas. What do you think of that? I wonder how long your sweets will last. In our home, every Christmas day, we always have a Christingle just like this in the middle of our Christmas dinner table. And when it's time to eat, we always light the candle. And that is why we've made a Christingle this year and you're making it on Christmas Eve. So your Christingle will be nice and fresh for tomorrow. But for today, before we finish, if you have a grown up with you, they can put the Christingle somewhere really, really safe and they can light it for you. And we'll say a little prayer and then have another song. Hands together. Dear God, thank you for everything you have given us. Thank you for sending us baby Jesus. Thank you for this Christingle and that when we look at the candle, we remember that Jesus is the light of the world. Thank you for all the food you have given us and for our families and our friends. Amen. Right now, maybe the grown-ups in your house could turn out some of the lights while your candle is lit and we will now listen to the Chris Stingle song again. begins with an orange telling us of the world God made by the fruits of the earth in the seasons we can see the love of God displayed sing Christine go sing Christine go sing Christine go it's the light of Christ sing Christine go sing Christine go sing Christine go light of Christ Come and celebrate the world's true love. 